Hello and welcome back to the another video of the Java tutorial series. So today we are uh, looking the solution to the exercise number two that I have given in the previous videos. So okay, so let's just get started. So first of all, uh, I'll be covering first three questions in this video, and other two uh, other two questions will be covered in the upcoming videos because the video length should it should be get increased if I cover all those questions in one one video. Okay. Okay, so let's just get started. Uh, so what is our first problem? Uh, write a program to calculate the sum of first 10 natural numbers. Okay, so I hope you know what is natural numbers. Natural numbers uh, start from one. Okay, so let me get, just get into my IDE and yeah, inside my SRC folder, I will create one Java class and I will name it as uh, exercise to solutions. Okay, so let me just increase the font size for you guys. Okay, and inside this, I will write my main method. Okay, okay, so I have to print the sum of the natural number, first 10 natural number. Okay, so for that, I will be requiring one variable which will hold my sum. Okay, and again one for loop is there int i is equals to one so i hope you are getting why i have written one here because the natural uh, natural number starts from one so that's why i have written here i is less than equals to 10 less than equals is there because we have to iterate for the value 10 also okay and, and since our value i's value is one also there and each time I will be incrementing the value of i. Okay, so inside my for loop I will be doing here sum plus is equals to i. So at this point uh, I am updating my sums value. Okay, so what does it mean plus is equals to is nothing but this. I will, let me just make it simple for you so that you can understand better. Okay, sum plus i. So at line number six and line number five are the same. It just uh, we write a sim in a, it, it, it a simpler manner. Okay, so I like that first one. Okay, uh, so here we are just updating the sums value with the previous sums value plus current i's value. Okay, and after my loop, I will just print my value of the sum. That is the sum of the first. 10 natural numbers okay uh, let me just concat with some variable okay so i hope this will work let me just run this i hope you guys are liking this tutorial series okay so here the here you, you can see the sum is 55 because we, we, when you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to 10 the sum will be 55 okay so that is about the first question so let's just move on to the second question what is write a program that prompts the user to give a positive integer and it should print the multiplication table of that number okay so let me go inside my ide and i will comment this okay so let me just give it a comment over here so that you guys can understand first okay first and i will comment this also and inside uh, below this i will create another comment that is named as second so this is the solution for the second one so here i require one input from the user so that's why i have to create a object of the scanner class i hope you guys know the scanner class system sorry system dot in okay so here you can see i have not imported uh, the scanner class so that is the good thing about the intellij ide whichever class you use here it will automatically import that uh, class inside the import statement at line number one you can you guys can see okay and i, I will require one a variable called num which is of type integer and then in the next line i will just print enter a positive number because i want a user to enter a number 
enter any positive number okay and below this uh, I will simply write num is equal to sc dot next int okay so now uh, when I get input from the user I just have to generate the multiplication table of that number okay so for that I will be printing oops let me just create uh -huh, yes let me just write multiplication multiplication table of num okay so below this I will be generating the multiplication table for that number with user had given so I will be using for loop for int i is equals to 1 i is less than equals to 10 because we have to generate uh, for example for tools table we have to generate two two tens are 20 up to that we have to generate you can generate how much you want okay and inside this i will be printing the num plus one sign which represent multiplication and I will again concatenate it with the value of i <coughs> and then again I will uh, concatenate it with equal to sign and again I will write one operation over here which is my num multiplied by i okay so I hope you guys are uh, getting this line number 20 what I have done here I have I have first to print the number that is the input given input by the user so at this line I will just show you what will be happy. Uh, so if the user has given uh, input as 2 so at this point 2 will get printed on the screen and then uh, multiplication sign will be get printed and what is whatever the value of the i will be there let's suppose for the first time the, if the loop is incrementing then the value of the i is 1 and again 1 equals to sign will be there and after equal to sign the operation that is num into 2 num into i that is 2 into 1 is 2 will be get printed likewise the whole table of the 2 will get printed on the console each time uh, the loop get increment i's value get incremented by 1 up to 10 okay so let me just run this I hope this will work enter a positive number let's suppose if I enter 2 so here you can see 2 1 the 2 2 2 the 4 2 2 the 3 uh, 2 3 the 6 uh, likewise hold the 2 stable get printed on the screen okay okay sorry for the interruption guys uh, so our third question is write a program to find the factorial value of a number enter by the uh, enter through the keyboard okay so you have to create factorial of the number okay not create we have to generate okay so I will just comment this out and I will write another comment as third third means the third solution for the third question okay so we have to generate a uh, factorial of that number okay so what is factorial for factorial is nothing but the here I can give you one example if I want to uh, find the fifth fi fifth fact five factorial then it will be equals to the it will be equals to the five into four into three into two into one okay so to find this uh, I again I require one input from the user so I will just comment this uh, comment out this so that I can receive input from the user and uh, now I require one variable name as int num which will hold that number actually and again I will require another uh, variable name as fact its current value is 1 okay and I will just print it out enter a number and here I will just write sorry num is equals to se dot 
next int okay and I will write one for loop and whose value will be uh, I is equals to one each time I will be doing I less checking I is less than equals to num and I'm doing I plus plus okay and inside this I will be doing fat multiplied is equals to I so I hope you guys are getting this uh, at this point we are just getting the value of the I and it multiplying it with the previous value of the fact that is the fact variable and the fact variable uh, initial value is 1 and uh, when this loop gets terminated the value inside fact the stored it is the factorial of that number okay so now I will simply print uh, let me just write factorial is and I will concat it with fact okay so I hope it this will run uh, if I click on execute it was it, uh, it was asking for a number let's suppose I write 5 and the factorial is 120 because 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is 120 so I hope you you guys uh, can solve these questions for second and third and in our upcoming videos we will be looking into the solution for the fourth and fifth question okay thank you for, guys for watching this video